Toxic tort cases require proving causation, specifically that the toxic exposure caused the injury. In Daubert v. Merrill Dow Pharmaceuticals, plaintiffs born with birth defects blame their injuries on a prescription drug taken by their mothers and offer expert testimony to prove causation. In an earlier phase of the litigation, the Supreme Court clarified that courts must act as gatekeepers, excluding unreliable expert testimony. Now, on remand, the court faces a choice. Admit the testimony or banish it as junk science. Jason Daubert and Eric Schuler suffered limb reduction birth defects. Their mothers struggled with morning sickness in pregnancy and took Bendectin, a prescription drug. Daubert and Schuler claimed the drug caused their birth defects and sued Merrill, the marketer of the drug. Because science couldn't trace the biological chain of events from a mother's ingestion of a chemical to the production of birth defects, the plaintiffs offered testimony of scientific experts that Bendectin could cause birth defects. The experts based their opinions on statistical inferences, animal testing, and the similarity between Bendectin and other drugs suspected of causing birth defects. None had studied the drug's potential for birth defects before being hired to testify. The district court concluded that the plaintiff's expert testimony wasn't admissible and granted Merrill's motion for summary judgment. The Ninth Circuit affirmed. The Supreme Court reversed and remanded to the Ninth Circuit.